Alright, so in video editing, we know that there are a lot of tips and tricks that you guys can use in order to help you move the progression of your video along. And having transitions is a perfect example of that use when we're trying to move from one scene to another in a video. So transitions can be a really handy tool and today I want to show you guys how you can add different types of transitions to your videos when editing with Shotcut. Now with that said, let's get started. Now moving on later in the video, I'll be talking about the different types of transitions that you guys can add. And there are many types of transitions that you guys can add overall. This can either be the default transitions such as crossfades and much more that you guys can add, but you guys can also custom make your own types of transitions depending on what your video style is. And finally, you guys can actually download free overlay transitions that are available and that overall may look nice and fit with your video. So we're going to be talking about each of these types of transitions and how you can apply it. And I'll also be leaving a header down in the box so you know what type of transitions I am going to talk about during that part of the video. So if you guys want to skip around until you find the transition you want to apply in the video, well feel free to do that as well. So starting off with our first types of transition, which is the default transitions that Shotcut actually offers. Now I'm in Shotcut right now and I already picked three generic clips for the purpose of this example. And we're going to be adding these clips onto our track side by side and there's going to be only two points where I can add a transition as you can see here. So the first thing that we have to do in order to add a transition to these clips is basically select one of the clips. Now I'm going to choose the middle one and I'm just going to move it and make sure it's overlaying our first clip. From there you can see that a transition point is made and you can basically adjust the size or duration of the transition by just pulling by the ends. And we can do the same thing to our last clip. We're just going to drag it on top of our second clip making that overlay and a transition will appear as well. So the transition that we just added is basically a default dissolve transition that includes in the Shotcut transition pack. However, Shotcut does provide different transitions that we can use. All you have to do is just make sure you select the transition clip, right click and go to properties. This will open a new window and as you can see, if you go to the video tab up here, we can see that there's different settings that you guys can use. We can use the different types of transitions, invert wipe and even the softness of the transitions. And as you can see, there are many types of transitions that we can use that are basically due default and what Shotcut basically has to offer. So if I change it to a bar horizontal transition, we can see that there's a significant difference on the transitions type that we're using. And by choosing one type of transition, you guys can basically adjust the transition, either if you want it to go to an inverse or reverse type of transition, or even change up the softness of it. So you guys can basically play around and make the transition look however you guys want to. Now if we go to the second transition that we made in the clip, we can basically go and choose whatever transition you want with whatever settings you guys want to use. So this is a really simple process and it shouldn't really take that long. You just got to find what type of transition you like to work with best with the default transitions that Shotcut offers. Now keep in mind that I'll be showing each type of transition that we go over this video just in case you guys want to see how these transition looks when you're adding onto your videos. So be sure to stick around at the end of the video so you can see each type of transition that we talk about in today's video. Now the next type of transition that I want to talk about is making your own custom transition. Now this is possible through the various effects that Shotcut actually offers and instead by using their default transition we can make one ourselves. Now the transition that I want to show you guys how to make is one that I use often in my videos and it's a basically push in or slide in effect where basically one video clip pushes in into the other and what's cool about this transition is that it's really customizable and you can even add sound effects to it so it can just make a little bit more impact. So for this transition what we're going to be using is just only two clips as an example and basically what you want to do is make a second video track. So we're going to make a second video track on top of our main clip and we're going to choose our secondary clip for the clip you want to make the transition to and basically overlay it just on top, not showing too much, basically overlapping on top of our first video clip. And from here, you just want to align the cursor to the end of the first video track and we're going to right click and hit split at playhead. So only the first portion of our video clip that we use for our second video track is actually split. And this is basically where we're going to do all our effects and filters that we're going to add into this video. From here, we're just going to add a keyframe. So we just want to go to the keyframe icon on the top and the keyframe timeline should appear. Now I have mine default on this section of the video track just so it doesn't really mess around with my other windows as I'm editing. So the next thing we're going to do is add filters. So you just want to make sure that you have selected the split video clip that we just made. Go to filters and go to the video tab and we're going to be adding a filter called size and position. Now that the filter is open we can basically adjust the windows so you guys can see a little bit more better all the settings that we're going to be working with. 
So as you can see, we're just going to put the cursor all the way into the beginning of our split video track that we just made. And we can just basically add all our settings that we're going to be using. Now that we have our cursor in the beginning of our second video clip, what we're going to do here is go to the keyframe timeline and we're just going to use this little overlay position that we see here and just basically drag it a little bit up to the front. Now that we got that, we're just going to go to position and we're just going to put negative 1920. This will basically move the video clip out of the frame. And then if we move the cursor a little bit in the middle of the video clip, we can see that it goes back to default. If it doesn't go back to default, all you have to do is just put the position at zero zero and that will give you your default state. And this will basically make that effect where the video slides in. Now by putting the cursor all the way in the beginning and if we hit play, we can see that the video clip that we put in the second video track, it basically slides in over our first one. And that's basically the effect that we're looking for. Now there are many other settings that you guys can use, many other orientations that you guys can make this slide in effect but this is basically one of the common ones that I use and if you want to give it a little bit more impact feel free to add sound effects to it as well now if you want this effect to go a little bit more faster you can always change the toggle of the little overlay over our video clip in the keyframes timeline just making it a little bit more shorter making it three seconds four seconds or five seconds so that effect can go a little bit more faster so overall it's basically up to you and you guys can make any other custom transitions that you guys can think of and this is just one of the ones that I basically use and it's a really easy transition to make so if you guys want to explore there's other tutorials on how to make your own custom transitions which i do recommend that you guys watch but it just depends on your video style and what kind of transition you're looking to make Okay, so the next type of transition that we're going to make is basically an overlay transition. And this should be really simple and straightforward to add. Now, there are many types of overlay transitions that you guys can pick up either from Google or you can even search free YouTube templates of overlay transition. They will basically give you some sort of a transparent background or even a green screen that you can basically key out while editing. And today I'm just going to show you how you guys can use overlay transitions if you guys do decide to go that route. So we have our three normal clips as normal and I just got the overlay overlay transition that I'm going to be using which I downloaded off of Google and from here we're just going to go to our timeline and we're just going to put a second video track from there you just want to get your overlay transition and basically put it in between two video clips where they're about to change and as you can see we can see the overlay transition and the type of overlay transition that we're going to be making now this one actually takes a little bit more longer so if you want that transition or overlay to go a little bit more quick all you have to do is make sure you have selected your transition go to properties and from here you you can basically speed it up and the video clip itself should be a little bit more faster. That's a tip for you guys that you guys can use anytime you want to speed up a clip. But going back to the transition, as you can see, it got shorter and it's just right in between the two video clips that we're going to be using. But from here, we're just going to key out that green screen. So make sure you have selected that transition, go to filters and to the video tab. And we're going to be looking for the chroma key advanced filter. And basically it automatically keys out, but you can always use the eyedropper in order to remove any type of green screen or a blue screen that you guys may be using from here there are many settings that you guys can use such as the green delta blue delta and even red delta configurations in order to minimize that green screen background so it just looks a little bit more crisp now that all our effects and editing is done with the overlay, all we have to do is just position it perfectly into the timing when our first clip ends and our second clip begins. So you just want to put that perfectly so that overlay can actually work properly into making a pretty cool transition. So as you can see, it may take some time to actually position it correctly just on time to have that transition effect going from one clip into another, but it takes a little bit more patience and a little bit more planning so you can set that transition up perfectly. And this can basically work for any other transition that you guys may be adding. It might not even be a overlay transition, so you guys can add it how you guys see fit, but this is just one example that you guys can use. And if we go to the other set of transition, it's basically the same process. You guys can pick any other type of transition. It may either be green screen or even a little bit more transparent. You guys can add it, but you just gotta get the timing right when it goes to one clip to the other. And this is basically an example of how you guys can use other sources out there to make your own transitions. Thank you. 
So as you can see, there are many ways you guys can add transitions. You guys can use the default transitions your video editor can provide, or you guys can even create your custom or even use third party transitions and basically edit them perfectly into your video. Now, I hope this video could help you out explore all these types of transitions and make your own perfect transition for your video. Now, if you guys are looking for more tutorials specifically on Shotcut, well, I have the perfect playlist for you guys where I go over many tutorials and many topics that I actually talk about Shotcut and basically help you improve your editing skills using shotcut so if you guys want to go check those out just go to my channel click on whatever video you guys want to watch and i'll see you guys over there but that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one